It's a historical first for the Kletli Tene, as they are the official host First Nation of the Games. To welcome and educate, a special pavilion at the corner of 6th and Dominion offers free entertainment all day long. <laughs> Donnie Mack enters the Tletle Tene Pavilion in full regalia. The experienced powwow dancer is here to share his dancing and life experiences. I think it's important because we got to keep the tradition going, right? Like uh, culture, the art aspect of it. Uh, a lot of uh, our younger generation are losing our um, language. And so I think promoting it and keeping it alive and um, helping the youth start up and it leads to a positive um, life. Max's presentation is just one of over 300 performing contemporary and traditional artists who are showcased at the 6th and Dominion location through the days of the Winter Games. Entertainment begins in the afternoon and continues through to the late evening hours as the pavilion is open from 11 a.m. to midnight. So we've got a wide range of cultural performances. We have uh, representation from the West Coast to people that represent the Feast Hall, people that represent the Plains Cree. We've got some Métis jiggers coming in. So we're trying to offer a wide range of performances from uh, various backgrounds. Um, a lot of people think about Indigenous people or First Nations people and don't know that we also come from a diverse background and so to showcase that is important. The hope is to educate visitors to Prince George and residents alike about the culture and tradition of the Klitle Tene and other First Nations. I think it's really important because uh, a lot of people that live in Prince George really don't understand, like, they think it's Prince George, but they don't understand that it's also the traditional territory of the Klitle Tene and it's important to get to know and learn, learn from one another and be able to live in a community that we share. My name is Johnny Mack. I come from Honey Lake Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. Mack, who dances a Plains Cree Treaty 6 style, began eight years ago and now tours the powwow circuit each summer. His hope is to keep the tradition alive through sharing with others. Dancing uh, lifts my spirit every time I hear the drum. It, uh, I don't know, it just makes me move. It's and then when I do dance, I, uh, I don't even remember after I'm done it. I don't have no worries. It's like escaping reality, earth maybe, as you'd call it, but it's a really beautiful feeling. Yeah! 